today I am in Germany with this Audi R8 V10 Plus from MTM. Uh, first of all, I just want to say to you quickly, I've had endless problems with this Rode microphone. Uh, it constantly gets interference and instead of taking the risks today, I'm just using the microphones that are built into my camera. Anyway, back to the car. So MTM have tuned this car. There's quite a few exterior modifications, but the main modification is they've strapped on a supercharger, bringing the power up to 800 horsepower. Now, I've only driven it 10 minutes down to this empty car park and I didn't go over a speed of 80, but I definitely felt the power increase in that short time. They've also put these super nice Alcantara Sparco bucket seats, which, yeah, just feels so good when you're driving a supercar. Noise-wise, it's got the same exhaust, but obviously the noise is slightly different to standard because of the supercharger. One of the first questions I asked him was, can you hear the supercharger? Not too much, not like off a Mini or something. You do definitely hear some change in sound and the way the car runs, of course. Even when it starts up, it sounds quite a bit different to how one without a supercharger would start up. I don't know if you can hear it, but... It, there's something very different there. One thing I noticed driving down here is the throttle response, it was just so different it was just bam just there i don't know about you but i think that sounds pretty epic it sounds like a whip so i thought i would just show you guys around quickly on the exterior modifications down here you've got the, the carbon splitter which is actually from Audi but MTM have put this extra bit on down here as well as uh, these carbon fins on the side of the car and they're sitting on the MTM forged wheels and the carbon side skirts which are from MTM now the back the wing is original Audi the carbon wing but what they've done is stick these uh, extenders on so it sits just a bit higher which I think looks way better Okay, so I just uh, stopped off to set the cameras up and uh, yeah, on the autobahn now at a petrol station. I've never been over 300 kph and that I would like to do today. In this, it shouldn't be a problem. The question is, how busy is it on the autobahn? That's often the case. Most people think you can um, yeah, just come to the autobahn and go as fast as you want. The problem is there's a lot of trucks and a lot of people. So I just want to say again quickly, I am recording the whole day today with the internal microphone in the camera, just that you probably will hear a difference. I'm sorry if it's not as good, but um, yeah, hopefully it will be okay. On to the autobahn. Yeah, you can hear the supercharger there. Oh, there's a massive truck. Power does come in handy when overtaking. That's actually when it can um, be even safer having power. I'm not sure if you can hear the whine, I can hear it. I really like the supercharged wine. I think it sounds good. Something different anyway. Waiting for a space. Oh my God, it's so busy. Why is it busy? There's a gap here, 120. Foot flat to the floor. Holy moly, this is quick. 200. brakes give you a lot of confidence. 130, flat to the floor. Come on. 200, 220, 230, 240, 250, and there's a car again. Oh, there's been a wobble. 50 more and I hit my 300. I just want to hit my 300. And this is my autobahn experience so far, going 130 behind endless traffic. I don't know what else to say, really. Well, I'm sorry, everyone. This video might be a bit of a fail due to uh, this mental traffic. So, back to MTM I go. What a shame. One last cheeky acceleration. Flat to the floor. Yeah, still quick. This is why I'm gutted. This car is just awesome and I want to drive it properly and there's nowhere to drive it properly because 
there's traffic everywhere, which you're probably bored of hearing me say, but there, there really, there really, really is. I'm lost again. Where am I going? So this supercharger kit, which you can buy for your R8, cost 62,000 euros. And when I first heard that, I thought, yeah, it does sound like it's quite a lot of money. But first impressions, I tell you what, it's just a totally different car. Okay, I'm gonna stop quickly and do zero to 120 on here. Okay, flat to the floor. Oh, gee, what the hell? <laughs> really, ooh, that really puts you back in your seat. Like, you can really feel it and struggle to speak at the same time. A little tunnel. Sounds mad. Okay, there's a few little streets here. Maybe can show you at least the noise a little bit. Okay, yeah, windows down makes a big, big difference. Sounds like a race car, really like a race car. <laughs> Two very big walls either side. This should sound good. Yeah, it definitely did. 